years used to be if you got a cassette player in your rental car. It was like winning rental yeah. roulette. But now rental agencies are... Okay, it sounds like we have some breaking news to tell you about out of New York. Uh, we're going to show you there's we have a, a fire burning in the World Trade Center right now. We're just uh, just hearing about that right now. Uh, let's see if we can get a. We're more on trying that from to our get producer. you a video of it. Okay, this is apparently burning at the top of one of the World Trade Center towers, oh and obviously, God. as you can see from uh, here, it's a very, very large one uh, taking place on uh, a couple of major points, both up a ways up the building as well as uh, burning off of the top of the building. Uh, you're actually looking at a shot of the financial district of Manhattan from about Midtown, uh, and what we're seeing is heavy smoke coming from the top of one of the World Trade Center towers. At least it looks like only one. We can't uh, really see the other one uh, from this position. We've got heavy smoke coming from at least uh, three quarters of the way up and off the top of the building. This is we're looking at an area that probably encompasses about 10 or 15 floors uh, of the World Trade Center on the top of it. Uh, this is going on. You're actually looking at the situation there live right now uh, and the smoke. Okay, we are now getting word a plane, a jet has run into the World Trade Center. This is just coming into us right now, a breaking story in the headline news. A plane has hit the World Trade Center, a jet, and as you can see, the upper floors of one of the towers are fully engulfed and uh, we've got smoke involved all over the place. There's a closer look at it. We have eyewitnesses that say it could have been a 737 and now that we get a close-up of it, you can see actually where the plane has um, collided with the building. We'll be bringing you more on that. We're gonna take a break now and bring you more right after the break. Is service master continuing to follow a breaking story. If you're just joining us this morning, we have word that an airplane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Now, you're looking at the scene right now. Uh, we are actually looking at the north end of one of the buildings, which does, in fact, look like where it is that the plane hit. Uh, eyewitnesses would say it was a twin-engine plane, possibly a 737. And now, this is actually, you're looking at the north end of the World Trade Center, looking south at it. Uh, live from Midtown Manhattan. Now, the fact of the matter is that actually Manhattan is in the middle of a major approach pattern uh, for LaGuardia Airport, which is, of course, one of New York's three major airports. Uh, one eyewitness, a, a CNN actually employee, CNN's uh, building is within the easy sight of the World Trade Center, although from a good ways uptown, uh, but says that he actually saw what appeared to be a 737 or some other twin engine passenger jet crashing into it. Now, the plane is still embedded uh, in the World Trade Center tower, and as you can see, it is still engulfed in flame. Information on that is still coming in, of course, uh, but as you can see, the flames are still going on, uh, and this is, uh, of course, a ways up. Uh, World Trade Center is, of course, the tallest two buildings in New York City, and among the tallest in the world. This is actually something we haven't heard anything about in an awful long time. Uh, way back in the early days of the Empire State Building, it was hit by a jet in a major accident. Uh, and uh, right now we're looking at uh, the situation there, as yes, you can see. Sean Murtaugh, the CNN vice president, said he saw the plane crash into the tower. He describes the plane as a large commercial plane. And what you see right now are pictures of probably where the plane collided earlier. Those are live pictures that you're looking at right now of the World Trade Center. And the smoke does continue burning, obviously, uh, fighting any kind of a fire that high up in the building uh, is a major ordeal for firefighters. Um, and we're looking at it again from the north end, which is apparently where the plane actually impacted the building. If we can uh, infer uh, from the uh, actual uh, gap that we're seeing in it, of course, the World Trade Center itself is a major hub of activity in, well, uh, world trade. There are a number of major international trading as well as financial firms that do business there. It is right in the middle of the New York financial district and uh, a very busy one. Uh, the only good news we can hope for here is the fact that it is still only 8.56 a.m. Eastern Time. It is possible uh, that all of the people who might have been working on those floors had not yet gotten in for work, uh, although, of course, a lot of new things do get started pretty early in New York's financial district, uh, and the flames are still burning. As you can see, smoke is still belching out of the, part, uh, out of the upper side uh, of that building. Uh, again, it looks like the plane plowed into the north end of the North Tower uh, of the World Trade Center. Uh, those two big buildings you see are actually one and two World Trade Center. And uh, right now we're still waiting to get more information on it, checking the wires as they came in. Uh, but the uh, latest thing we have from an eyewitness, actually from CNN, uh, is that it was apparently a 737 or some other 
uh, jet that flew into it. Possibly course, a twin-engine plane. Yeah, maybe a 737 or something like that. One witness has reported hearing a big boom when it actually hit. This is someone who lives nearby the towers, uh, reported hearing a large explosion and then seeing debris falling. Of course, there are crowds everywhere. We're getting a slightly better look at it. This one appears to have been taken from a helicopter of the tower. And as you can see, the, uh, the smoke is pouring out of both sides of the building. Uh, and this is a developing story that we're going to keep following this, mo uh, this morning. But again, what we have word is, as of this morning, a jet, apparently, a commercial jet has plowed into one of the World Trade Center towers. We're going to have more on this throughout the morning on CNN and on CNN Headline News. Stay with us. In the next 15 minutes, a crisis will begin, another will end. Fortunes made and lost. Where do you stand? In the next 15 minutes, there will be victory and defeat. Storms will rise, skies will clear. Where will you be? Now, get the news you need. Headlines, finance, sports and weather when you need it. In the next 15 minutes, CNN Headline News. Real news, real fast. Oprah's main man relationship expert, Dr. Phil McGraw, is here. Feeling helpless, heartbroken, or just plain fed up? He says stop complaining and start changing, and it'll take your calls tonight. 9 Eastern on Larry King Live. CNN Headline News, an AOL Time Warner company. This is where... Closed captioning provided by Mary Maids. One less thing to worry about. We have this breaking news to report to you right now. A plane has collided with the World Trade Center building in New York. We have live pictures of that for you. We'll be bringing it to you in any moment. Uh, witnesses say, actually a CNN employee says, Sean Murtaugh, vice president over at CNN, saw the collision. He said the plane looked like a commercial plane and it mo was mo flying very low and it hit the building at an angle. Again, these are live pictures right now. You're looking at the World Trade Center in New York where a commercial plane has collided minutes ago, just before 9, with the building there. We have no reports of any injuries. We, we do not know of any fatalities as well, but we are standing by for the latest. Now, as you can see, we're looking at it from a different angle here. The smoke is coming out of both sides of the building. Now, this is a building that's 110 stories tall, one of, of course, the landmark New York World Trade Center towers. Uh, and apparently the plane did hit it a little bit before 9 this morning. Uh, we do have uh, word from some witnesses who said that there was a huge explosion uh, and then uh, debris started falling, again, from 100, uh, possibly 110, 100, 100, 110 stories up. Uh, and then the smoke does continue to burn. You are looking at the scene live. Uh, we're actually looking at it now from the north, south, uh, into New York's financial district, at which the New York uh, the World Trade Center is the heart. Uh, of the New York Financial District. This happened shortly before 9 o'clock, right about when a lot of workers in that building would likely be getting on the job. Okay, and you'll remember in 1993, this building was actually the, where a terrorist set off a bomb. Remember in the basement of the World Trade Center, killing six people and injuring more than a thousand. That happened in 1993. And now once again, we're looking at pictures live of uh, the World Trade Center where a plane minutes ago, just before 9, collided with the building. And this is, of course, a building, a complex in which literally tens of thousands of people work. Uh, it was a major problem back when that terrorist bombing happened because it simply affected so many people. Uh, and now, once again, we have uh, this accident happening here. Now, as you can see, we're looking about three-quarters of the way up this 110-story building uh, where, the, uh, where the smoke is coming out. Sean Murtaugh is a vice president at CNN. He actually saw what happened. Uh, we have him on the phone right now. Are you there? Yes. What, wh where were you looking and what did you actually see? I was uh, looking uh, south towards the World Trade Center and the Statue of Liberty. Now, to clarify, you're probably talking about uh, from the CNN building, which yeah, is about 20 stories Plaza, up uh, in the middle of Madison New York. Square Garden on the uh, 21st floor, so I had a pretty good vantage point to see the uh, flight approach. It was coming in from the north? It was uh, coming from the north, heading south towards the tower, and at uh, a comment from a... Uh, Friend, I see another plane approaching right now. 
Another plane just crashed in right now. Not Another plane has crashed into the World Trade Center building. As we are watching the World Trade Center covering uh, the earlier crash, we have seen that another plane just crashed into the World Trade Center building. As we are watching it, this is unbelievable. These two planes appear to me now to have done this intentionally. This looks like an intentional attack by these planes. The, the first plane was dipped its wings back and forth as it approached. It looked to be a 737. Uh, couldn't tell if it was a Continental Airlines plane or not. And it looked, it looked intentional. Now that the second one has hit, it, 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 it's making me feel even more... Sean, like Sean we're looking at, at some disadvantaged angle here. It looks like it actually hit the other tower it did. from this it, angle. It hit the other tower. A plane just approached from the south, heading north, and just struck the other tower, and I see flames now coming out of the other tower from my vantage point. Within minutes, two planes have struck two buildings of the World Trade Center. Sean, did this look like the same kind of a plane? Uh, it did look like another commercial jet. I can't tell from this distance what uh, airline it was. Okay, and we now are starting to see flames coming out of the second World Trade Center tower. This one slightly lower than the first hit, uh, but uh, a possible one. We now have word that the first plane was a commercial passenger jet. It hit between the 80th and 85th floors. This the debris we see a, falling a, out of the building all the way down onto the street underneath. That's what's coming into us right now. And now we see a second set of fires burning on at least two or three floors of the second World Trade Center tower from this second plane uh, also hitting the uh, tower. Within 10 to 15 minutes, two planes have collided on two separate occasions with the building. We have no reports of injuries or fatalities as of yet, but you'll remember that in 1993, the World, Trainer was, the World Trade Center was the uh, site of a terrorist bomb that was set off in its basement that killed six people and injured more than a thousand right now uh, Sean Murtaugh who is our vice president of CNN uh, said what he believes that it was an intentional uh, crash now Sean uh, I guess so uh, we're looking at uh, can you all right we're now we can now see both of yep. the World Trade Center towers are uh, in flames and it looks like uh, all across both towers we do just see that the building is fully involved and the smoke does continue uh, to come out. Now Sean, uh, it, it looks like a crystal clear day in New York. It isn't as if anybody could possibly have done this uh, by no, accident, I, certainly I, not twice in a row. No, I think the fact that the second plane, I was watching the, when the first plane hit, a, a person I was watching with had indicated he thought like that guy could have missed that, like it was intentional. Now that the second plane has hit, it makes me feel even more like it, the, the two of them are planned attacks. Uh, did it look like uh, when you saw that explosion the second time, was it something similar to that the first time? We really saw a huge Ident burst identical. of flames. Identical. It just it appears to have hit the building uh, somewhat lower. And um, I, I, I can't tell from this vantage point whether debris has come out the other side, but uh, it appears that both are embedded in the, in the buildings. Yeah, we're actually looking and we can see that uh, the, uh, the fire, at least, does go all the way through both towers. Uh, we did hear from some witnesses who were closer to the scene who heard a huge explosion and then did see the debris falling and there are crowds, of course, everywhere on the street. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that even if not everybody was in, and it looks like we lost a signal from that particular camera, uh, but even if uh, not everybody was in the office at the time, because it did happen shortly before 9 o'clock, the second one happening just shortly after 9 o'clock, uh, that there's a good chance there were a lot of people on the street or in a very large plaza down underneath the World Trade Center towers, which are usually full of commuters going to and from work, especially right about the time that this happened. Yeah, that's true. And, and one thing to also consider is a lot of people show up for work early to prepare uh, for what's lying in the days ahead. We can only hope that um, people were not in those floors. It looks like in, in each building, at least 10 to 15 floors have been affected by the crash. Again, we're looking at live pictures of the two World Trade Center buildings. And we are starting to see the fire is uh, spreading in the second of the Quite World Trade Center towers as the smoke continues to pour out from the fire that has basically gone from one end to another of several floors on the first of the towers. Uh, of course, these are the World Trade Center towers, 110 stories tall, the tallest buildings in New York, and for a while, the tallest buildings in the world, a major part of New York City's financial center uh, down in the financial district of New York. World Trade Center is actually a complex of several buildings, uh, and these are, of course, the two best known of them. But as you can see, uh, there is debris falling from both buildings right now, and the flames are now pouring out of the second tower to be hit by this second plane, which uh, some eyewitnesses say looks, and it's pretty hard to uh, contest this at this point, like it hit intentionally.
Again, if you're just tuning in, uh, what has happened is within minutes before, uh, sometime before 9 and right after 9, two planes right, separately con collided with uh, the buildings at the World Trade Center, both buildings, one at before 9 and one after 9. We have Sean Murtaugh, our vice president at CNN headquarters, standing by. Sean, what can you tell us? Uh, approximately five or six minutes ago, I don't know if you picked it up on camera, a second plane struck the other tower. A little, bit further, live. A, a little bit further down on the second tower than the first plane that struck. Um, and I see flames and smoke and see the same images that you're seeing on the, uh, on the uh, monitor. Now, Sean, let's back up a minute uh, and, and go to what you were talking about. Obviously, you weren't looking as closely at that. You were talking to us at the time. But what did you see happen when this first plane came in? I saw the plane heading over Manhattan in a flight pattern that's not typical for planes coming out of Kennedy, et cetera, to be heading this, this close to the city and saw the plane uh, wingtip uh, tipped back and forth and, and it appeared the pilot was trying to, to straighten himself out and a gentleman I was w looking out the window with said that guy, that guy looks kind of low and saw the plane uh, impact, you know, roughly almost uh, straight into the building. And From your vantage point, uh, could you see the firefighters there? Are they on the scene yet? Have they managed no, I, to get I don't there? No, I don't have a clear line of sight to the base of the building. I can hear the city uh, uh, lighting up with the uh, alarms and, and whatnot. And now we're, we're hearing a word of, of some debris even uh, falling as far away as Brooklyn, which, uh, which actually is across uh, part of uh, New York Harbor, three miles away from the tower. This should give you an idea of uh, how big this is. Paper has been falling over Brooklyn, uh, possibly debris from the fire. Um, now, Sean, when you're looking at this, could you really just see anything in the way of insignia on the plane indicating an airline, uh, I, a cargo I, I, company? Not on the second plane. The first plane I thought was a Continental Airlines uh, jet. It looked to be a, 37, a 737, um, but I, I can't be sure. The second plane, I, I was too far, and the angle of approach was from, from the, uh, the south, southern tip of uh, Manhattan, and I could not see if that had an uh, airline brand on the tail. Okay, Sean, uh, we actually, uh, we were looking live when this second plane actually hit uh, into one of the towers. Uh, it was, uh, happened as we were talking to you, and we actually saw it live. Uh, let's take a look because, okay, we're now looking uh, at uh, local news coverage of that, but we actually saw it happen. Watch what happened. There we see a second jet. It was clearly a twin-engine jet hit the tower. This is what happened about 18 minutes after the first plane hit it, and a huge explosion erupted on the side of the building as the second jet hit it. And uh, as you could see, it was a pretty sizable jet, a twin-engine jet plane uh, that plowed into the side of the second of the World Trade Center towers. Uh, this was about five minutes after uh, 9 o'clock when uh, we were already looking at the scene from what happened after the first jet hit the, the tower. Um, now, Sean, uh, that, uh, we actually did get a look at that. You thought this looked like a continental jet and we saw the second one did seem to have that distinctive gray paint job, didn't it? I, I, I watched the image on the screen, but could not make out the... Uh, I mean the, the but the first one, it, sort of, it, was, it seemed to be a dark painted plane, rather like, uh, like a Continental jet. Yeah, that, that was my, my, my first guess, that it was a Continental jet, the first one. Now, what did, there was no sign that this fellow was trying to avoid it, obviously. Uh, yeah, and in fact, it, it, uh, you know, you have a, a gut feeling that uh, as you're watching the first one and the way the pilot corrected or, or, or uh, had, had the ability to still manipulate the wings, that he seemed like he could have avoided it. And now that the fact that the second one has happened makes me feel even more like both were intentional. Yeah, looking like another intentional strike against the World Trade Center. Of course, it was in 1993 that we had that bombing underneath. Uh, when a group of terrorists uh, apparently were trying to topple one tower into the other and set off uh, a big truck bomb in a parking garage beneath one of the towers uh, and uh, caused dozens of injuries. And, Thousands uh, of others were injured, six people killed. Yes, yeah, six that. people were killed in that. And uh, this actually uh, is uh, a familiar story to New Yorkers after a, uh, a B-25 uh, plane actually hit the Empire State Building, but that happened in dense fog and we're looking at a bright sunny day today, uh, not exactly the kind of conditions under which anyone could have accidentally hit a big structure. We have word already that the FBI 
is investigating reports of a plane hijacking before the crashes. This could conceivably explain how such a large commercial jet uh, could end up flying into the t one of the towers. Uh, one of the things about flying around in New York is that it is a, a very busy air uh, traffic area, and uh, the possibility of so large a jet being able to take off from anywhere in the area uh, and crash into one of those planes is uh, kind of hard to imagine, unless we had a scenario such as that. So we are now hearing that the FBI is looking to reports of a jet being hijacked in the New York City area. It may well be that we know where that jet or two jets went. Okay, we'll have more on this breaking story as soon as we come back from this break. Stay with Headline News. Charlie. Hello. We're following a breaking story out of New York. We now have word of two planes crashing into the World Trade Center, and this may well have been an act of terrorism. The FBI is now investigating reports that a plane was hijacked there. You have just seen the explosion as a second plane hit the second of World Trade Center uh, towers. Two, both of the two major towers are now fully in flames. President Bush is in Sarasota, Florida. He has been alerted to this. And the FBI is now investigating reports of a plane hijacking in the New York area. It is starting to look possible that a plane, or maybe two, were hijacked and crashed into both of the biggest of the World Trade Center towers. That's right. Minutes before nine was the first crash. Uh, and uh, we had a uh, CNN vice president who was standing by live who actually saw the plane going into the first building. And minutes after that, just a few minutes after 9, while we were covering this breaking news for you live, a second plane collided with the second building in the World Trade Center. Now, you'll remember the World Tra Trade Center in 1930, 1993 was the center of a terrorist bomb attack when a bomb went off in a basement, killing six people, injuring a thousand others. And it looks like it is the target of maybe another uh, terrorist attack. Uh, we've heard that the FBI is investigating um, reports that uh, uh, the FBI is investigating reports that a uh, plane was hijacked earlier. A commercial flight was hijacked, and that could possibly explain how these two, uh, two uh, collisions have happened within minutes of each other. CNN's headquarters in Midtown Manhattan are 20 stories up and actually uh, look straight down on New York's financial center, and CNN Vice President Sean Murtaugh was sitting looking out his window when it happened. Sean, what did you actually see happening? The uh, first or second plane? The, the, let's start with the first one because you were looking right at it when it uh, first occurred. The, the first plane uh, was crossing over the, the, the middle of Manhattan in an in a altitude that was obviously too low. And I was uh, gazing out the window with a uh, colleague who commented, you know, that guy looks like he's going kind of low. We, we both gazed out the window and saw the, uh, the, the pilot, uh, the, you know, wingtip go back and forth like he was trying to straighten the plane. And then we saw the impact into the, uh, the, the first tower. Now, one thing that uh, might bear noting is that actually the Hudson River, which is uh, to the right there, is an area where we do see a lot of planes flying low. It is an area where uh, visual reckoning flying is allowed. Uh, but obviously, something like this uh, is uh, certainly not expected. But also, investing is about the long term. Okay, we are back with live pictures. We apologize for that earlier um, break to a commercial. You yeah. are looking at live pictures of the World Trade Center where minutes ago two planes on separate occasions collided with the building. We have word that uh, President Bush has been alerted. He is in Florida. He was supposed to go to an education-related event in Sarasota this morning. That event has been canceled. Uh, we could very well have a terrorist attack here. The FBI is reportedly investigating an airplane hijacking in the New York area. We're going to go to continuing coverage of this uh, breaking story and the rest of the day's news with Robin Mead on CNN and on CNN Headline News. We'll be right back with continuing coverage right after a short break.
We're following a breaking story, apparent and a possible terrorist attack against the World Trade Center, this time by two planes that appeared to have been deliberately crashed into two of the World Trade Center Tower. Let's go live to President Bush, who is preparing to speak right now. Got Bush. Uh, two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. I have spoken to the Vice President, to the Governor of New York, to the Director of the FBI, and have ordered that the full resources of the federal government uh, go to help the victims and their families and, the, and to conduct a full-scale investigation to hunt down and to find those folks who committed this act. Terrorism against our nation will not stand. And now, if you join me in a moment of silence. May God bless the victims, their families, and America. Thank you very much. You can see some very brief remarks by President Bush uh, about what is apparently a terrorist attack against the World Trade Center. Right now, you're looking live at the scene right now where you can see fires burning fiercely in both of the 110-story main towers of the World Trade Center, uh, World Trade Center 1 and number 2, World Trade Center, uh, World Trade Center 1 and 2. Uh, the president uh, quoted his uh, father uh, saying that terrorism will not stand, of course, something that uh, George Bush Sr. said uh, about the attack on I Kuwait by Iraq. But now we are looking at word from the FBI that this may indeed have been a terrorist attack. They are looking into reports of planes being hijacked. One of the planes may, in fact, have been an American Airlines 767 that left Boston this morning, uh, but the CIA is now looking at the FBI rather is now looking into reports that these were terrorist attacks and that these planes were hijacked and then deliberately crashed into the World Trade Center um, although those reports are not official and the official cause of these two crashes into the World Trade Center has not yet officially been uh, announced but very clearly something very serious we have words out of, apparently some witnesses talked to uh, people who were up in the World Trade Center at the time and heard screams and shouts to the effect of, we are dying up here uh, when the crash and the subsequent fires broke out. Again, this is at the heart of New York's financial district, one and two World Trade Center. President Bush spoke uh, very briefly moments ago uh, promising to find whoever was responsible and saying that there will be a full investigation. And again, the FBI is saying that this may well have been the case of planes being hijacked and deliberately crashed into the World Trade Center. We will continue coverage of this breaking story on CNN and CNN Headline News. Be sure to stay with us. Looking live at the scene of the World Trade Center, where fire continues, where fire continues to burn uh, out of control in two towers of the World Trade Center, uh, we have word that the uh, Pentagon has placed military forces around the world on ThreatCon Alpha. Uh, that means that uh, there is a threat of possible terrorist activity against installation, buildings, or personnel, uh, the nature of which is unpredictable. We do have word also of a fire at the Pentagon in Washington that is just coming in. Uh, we are not sure if that is related to this at all. But here is the latest that we have. We, doubt, we do have words, yes, that there is a large fire burning at the Pentagon in Washington. Now, President Bush has already said that these twin air crashes at the World Trade Center are the result of a terrorist act. And uh, as we have seen uh, throughout the course of this morning, two planes hit shortly before and after 9 o'clock. They were large jets. One of them was apparently an American Airlines 767 that was supposed to be flying from Boston to California. California and instead was detoured. Now, the FBI does have reports of planes being hijacked. President Bush is calling this a terrorist act. Let's listen in now to statements coming from Senator Edward Kennedy and the First Lady Laura Bush. Benefited greatly uh, from her comments, and we will look forward to an early reappearance by the First Lady for this committee on the subject of uh, early education. And Mrs. Bush, we are. You. Recognize. Now. Uh, you heard from the president this morning, and Senator Kennedy and Senator Gregg and I both uh, join his statement in saying that our hearts and our prayers go out to the victims of this 
act of terrorism and that uh, our support goes to the rescue workers um, and all of our prayers are with everyone there right now. Thank you. Well, you know, children are kind of struck by all this. Is there a message you could... Okay, you've been listening to comments from Senator Edward Kennedy and First Lady Laura Bush in response to what they are also referring to as a terrorist attack, and it certainly apparently is, because we now have word that the Palestinian group, the Democratic Front for the Liberation of Palestine, is claiming responsibility for these crashes. Two jets hit the two biggest towers of the World Trade Center shortly before and after 9 o'clock this morning. The FBI says one of them had been hijacked, apparently an American Airlines jet, en route from Boston to California. President Bush has convened a National Security Council meeting as soon as he gets back to Washington. Of course, the president had been in Sarasota for some uh, events centered around his education initiative. Those have been canceled. He very briefly spoke to school children there to say that his prayers are with the victims of this terrorist act, and he said that the, this act and this terrorism would not stand. Uh, we have word that the New York Mercantile Exchange, which is immediately below the World Trade Center towers, has been evacuated. That is, of course, uh, the biggest single-floor trading facility in the world. The New York Stock Exchange, meanwhile, is on hold. It was supposed to open for trading at 9.30 this morning. That is indefinitely on hold. Meanwhile, we do have word that the, Pentagon's, that the Pentagon is on fire. There's a fire burning on the Pentagon uh, right now uh, as we have uh, possible threats going on. Yes, we do have word that the White House is being evacuated right now as well. So we have a fire at the Pentagon as well as evacuations going on at the White House in response to at least one, uh, what looks like one, significant terrorist event. Again, the Democratic Front for the Liberation of Palestine uh, has claimed responsibility for this one. And we now have word that the fire fire at the Pentagon is the result of a plane crash. We're looking over the old executive office building uh, at a, a fire burning in the Pentagon, which is just over the horizon there in the distance. Um, but we can now see heavy smoke coming up. This apparently is also the result of another plane crashing into another building. The Pentagon, of course, the center of the U.S. Um, uh, the U.S. Defense Department. We're looking at live pictures actually coming in from affiliate WTTG. Um, this is the scene in Washington, D.C. Now, you're looking over the uh, what looks like the old executive office building, uh, but that is not on fire. What we are seeing is the Pentagon is burning. Um, and that from our affiliate in Washington, WTTG. Now, back to New York, as you can see, the fire burning at the World Trade Center. Uh, the latest word we have is, again, uh, the Pentagon has been hit by a plane. That is what we're looking at right now, and that is burning, a major fire burning, and fire burning in the, uh, in the World Trade Center. Uh, the, the New York Mercantile Exchange has been evacuated. The New York Stock Exchange opening for the day is on indefinite hold. Apparently some people were up in the upper floors of the World Trade Center when it happened. Uh, some people calling it, some of the brokerage houses up there said that they reported hearing screams and someone said, we are dying up here. Again, the World Trade Center towers are 110 stories tall and as you can see, uh, one of those crashes happened very near the top of one of them, another one about halfway up on the second one. Uh, President Bush is calling this an act of terrorism. First Lady Laura Bush uh, and Senator Edward Kennedy also said as much in remarks just a couple of minutes ago, the president has convened a meeting of the National Security Council. The president says that there will be a full and complete investigation. He has canceled his agenda and is heading back to Washington shortly. Air traffic into and out of New York has been shut down. Uh, all bridges and tunnels in the New York area have been closed as well. Uh, but the latest word we have now is that there have been uh, plane crashes, apparently deliberate ones, into two of the big towers of the World Trade Center, number one and number two World Trade Center, as well as into the Pentagon. Uh, and all bridges and tunnels in New York have been evacuated. The White House has also been evacuated in response to another possible threat there. The west wing of the White House has been evacuated. We now have word that the Capitol has been evacuated as well. So we have evacuations going on on the White House, the Capitol, and the Pentagon itself, which is now in flames after another one. Latest word we have is now the Treasury has been evacuated as well. Uh, so the evacuations do continue in response to this terrorist, apparent terrorist act. And the Pentagon says that it has increased its terrorism alert status from normal to threat con alpha. All right, we are now looking again at a different uh, view from Washington, D.C., where you can see smoke pouring up from the Pentagon. 
where a plane has crashed into the Pentagon. Now, of course, actually Washington, D.C., besides being one of the most restricted air areas, air spaces in the country, is also where we see a major airport closest to a sensitive area. Reagan National Airport in Washington is very close to the mall and to a whole series of major installations there. And we now have word that a plane has apparently crashed into the Pentagon as well. President Bush has convened a meeting of the Security Council. He's planning to get to that immediately upon his return to Washington from Sarasota, Florida, where he has been for special events involving his education initiative. Meanwhile, the word from New York, again, is two planes have crashed into the World Trade Center. The word we get is at least a thousand people have been hurt and six are dead. Uh, it could be a lot higher than that, of course. This crash happened shortly before and after nine o'clock this morning when a lot of New Yorkers are heading to work. Uh, the good news could be that there would not, would not be as many people in the building at the time as there might have been shortly thereafter. On the other hand, the workday does start early in New York City, especially in the financial district where the World Trade Center is and there could have been an awful lot of people en route to and from work beneath the towers. Now, the World Trade Center towers, the two big towers there, one and two, are 110 stories tall. They are surrounded by a very large plaza, which could easily have been full of people as well, not to mention, of course, the surrounding streets. Uh, so the latest word we have is three plane crashes apparently deliberate into the World Trade Center towers and the Pentagon. A Palestinian group has claimed responsibility for the plane crashes into the World Trade Center. This is a group called the Democratic Front for the Liberation of Palestine. Uh, this comes out of actually Abu Dhabi television uh, as well as Reuters. Uh, the word is that one of those planes may indeed have been hijacked. One of them was apparently a 737 American Airlines flight en route from... All right, we're waiting to hear now. Okay, we have word from airports nationwide. The FAA has shut down all aircraft takeoffs at all airports around the country. This is a co coming from the FAA. All aircraft takeoffs at airports around the country have now been put on hold by the FAA. This after these three plane crashes, including one crash, which was apparently that of an American Airlines 767, which left Boston at 7.45 this morning, supposedly en route for California, apparently ended up crashing into the World Trade Center in New York instead. Witnesses did see the planes go crashing into the buildings, and actually it happened during live coverage here on Headline News. We saw the second of the planes hit the second of the towers in the World Trade Center. President Bush has called off his agenda for the day and is now en route back to Washington where he has convened a National Security Council meeting. Law enforcement officials now say both planes were planes hijacked from Boston. Uh, we would had word of one of them, now both of them. The FBI is calling this, uh, saying this was a probable terrorist incident. President Bush is calling it an apparent terrorist act and in very brief remarks this morning he promised it would stand. He did go to an event that he was supposed to attend this morning in Sarasota, Florida for his education initiative and spoke to the school children but only long enough to say that his prayers were with the people and he promised a full investigation hey, with all you have going on who has time to clean call Mary May it's one less thing to worry about business e-business sir speedy printing sir speedy.com face to face online interface Personal, productive, local, global, very human, very modern, easy, easy, Sir Speedy, either way. It's been one week that you looked at me, cause you heard the design is I'm angry, five days that you laughed at me, saying, come back and see me, SFB Direct, ranked as the number one online broker by Barron's and backed by the resources of Credit Suisse First Boston. That's the difference between online trading and direct investing from CSFB Direct. Greenfield at Large. 
Already the smartest, most literate discussion series on TV. Finally, a program that combines intriguing guests, challenging topics, and intelligent talk. Intelligence at work. Jeff Greenfield tosses out the topic and everyone rolls with the punches. This is highly promising stuff. It's the show that's bringing back the art of conversation. Good stuff, Greenfield. Greenfield at Large, weeknights, 10.30 Eastern, only on CNN. We're continuing to follow a developing story this morning. A series of plane crashes apparently deliberate into major buildings, apparently terrorist incidents. You're looking live at the scene in Manhattan where both of the big towers in the World Trade Center, number one and number two World Trade Center, have been hit by planes. The FBI is investigating reports that the planes were hijacked. Uh, one plane was apparently one bound from uh, Boston to California. A second plane, American Airlines route, uh, Flight 77, which was supposed to fly from Dulles to LAX Airport is now uh, reported as missing. Right now, no report as to whether it was the one involved in any of these crashes. Uh, but again, we have reports of crashes by aircraft into the Pentagon, as well as two of the World Trade Center towers. The White House has also been evacuated in, in response to what the uh, Secret Service calls a credible threat of terrorism. The Treasury, as well as the State Department, have also been uh, cleared out as well. You're looking live at the scene at the Pentagon right now. Charles, we've also learned that all all air travel has been shut down nationwide now. If you're planning to board a plane, you have a loved one who's about to board a plane. All air travel throughout the United States has been shut down. We understand, though, that planes already in the air will be allowed to proceed to their destinations. So you might want to take that into account as you make your plans this morning. This incident uh, started shortly before 9 o'clock this morning with shocking pictures of the World Trade Center in New York, uh, a plane crashing into the upper floors of the building as we watch those pictures live on our air and on CNN another plane crashed into the second tower of the World Trade Center truly uh, amazing pictures and we're understanding that a thousand people are injured unknown number of casualties uh, in this incident and it's bl being blamed on terrorist incidents Charles meanwhile we have one report saying that the Palestinian group the Democratic Front for the Liberation of Palestine has declared uh, responsibility for this act. On the other hand, we have reports from a senior official within the Democratic Front for the Liberation of Palestine denying that the group was involved in this incident. Uh, we have uh, reports of at least six people killed, thousands hurt after, at, at least at the World Trade Center, uh, and fire, as you can see, is still burning out of control on numerous floors uh, uh, of the World Trade Center. Meanwhile, all bridges and tunnels in New York City have been closed. The New York Mercantile Exchange, which is basically at the foot of the big World Trade Center towers has been cleared out. We're now going to take a look live at the scene of the Pentagon where the fire also continues to burn after an aircraft hit the Pentagon as well. We have word that the State Department, the Treasury, and the West Wing of the White House have also been evacuated in response to what the State Department is calling a credible terrorist threat. Charles, we should mention that the President uh, is in Sarasota, Florida, preparing to make his way back to Washington. He spoke live to the nation a short while ago. We had that on CNN Headline News. Talking about this as a terrorist incident, something that the United States, in his words, will not stand for, and he asks for a moment of silence. He will convene a meeting of the National Security Council shortly. He has spoken to Vice President Cheney. He's spoken to the FBI and Governor George Pataki of New York. You're looking at video now from WJLA. This is fire and flames coming out of the Pentagon. And now we have word uh, that the uh, plane, cr or the uh, the crash into the Pentagon, is also believed to be uh, a terrorist-related incident. Uh, not something that at this point comes as a big surprise, but we are now hearing that officially uh, from a senior official within the administration that this one, as well, uh, is believed to be a terrorist attack against the Pentagon as well. Uh, again, we have the evacuations throughout Washington D.C. and all air traffic nationwide has been put on hold. Flights in progress will be allowed to. Uh, continue and land, but the FAA has stopped all flight takeoffs at airports around the United States. We should mention again that we've learned just in the last few minutes that American Airlines Flight 77 from Dulles to LAX is reported missing, uh, presumed to be involved in one of these incidents. A flight from Boston to California, another American Airlines flight, uh, 
presumably involved in one of the crashes this morning into the World Trade Center towers. We're going to be staying with the story throughout the day on Headline News. We invite you to stay with us. We will bring you the very latest as it becomes available. Stay with Headline News.